Okay, so starting on the petticoat now, um, I got all these pieces cut out, all the pieces that I need for the pattern, and now what I need to do is uh, trace with an erasable pen all of the markings, like the darts and stuff. Um, I probably, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm so exhausted just from cutting this pattern out and ironing all the pieces. <laughs> like, there's some really big pieces for the skirt, as usual. Like, skirts are usually pretty full. Um, but yeah, uh, then I'll be able to start sewing. Of course, I come back and she's lying on the patterns. Got steps one and two done. So the first step was to sew these darts, which I marked with an air erasable pen so they should fade eventually or I might just run this through the washing machine after I'm done because I'm in kind of a hurry <laughs> and I don't want it to show um but yeah the step one was just to sew up the two front darts and then step two was to sew on the shoulder straps now I'm doing French seams because I love French seams they are my life and um the pattern allows for five eighths of an inch seam allowance so what I'm doing is doing a quarter of an inch which is two eighths and then trimming it down and then doing three eighths of an inch and on my sewing machine it's pretty easy to um keep track of three eighths of an inch because this little groove right here where the feed dogs are is three eighths of an inch so i just have to line it up as it's going through with this this piece of tape is a quarter of an inch so you can see there's an eighth of an inch difference between those two points um so yeah uh next up let's see Next up, we got to sew the backs onto the fronts, and then sew the straps onto the backs. So, time to do that. Okay, got the sleeve strap sewn <laughs> to the back, and I did the back seam, and as you can see, the French seams. Um, so next, what I need to do is, I forgot to mention before, but I pressed this, um, there's a line on the pattern right here where you're supposed to fold this, and then it says to fold again, well, fold first 5 eighths of an inch and then fold to the line, but I just folded it so it's even, um, so the buttonholes have a little more to grab onto. Um, so then I gotta sew in the buttonholes and the buttons, <laughs> and I've gotta stitch this down so it's not flopping all over the place. Um, and. So that should be a little bit of hand sewing work to do. And then after the buttonholes, I have to do the neck facing and the armhole facing, which is basically just a strip of bias tape. But yeah, it's coming along really quickly, which is good because I want to finish this today and we'll see if that gets done. Got the buttonholes and buttons put in and I tried it on and it fits pretty well. Um, It's kind of gapey around the front neckline but there's going to be a drawstring there exactly for that so it's no problem um and I can actually slip it on over my head even without undoing the buttons which will be nice for getting dressed by myself let's hope it stays that way after I add the skirt um but yeah I next I need to do the neck and sleeve facings and put the drawstring in the neck um we'll see if I get that done tonight my stomach's kind of upset so I'm not sure if I really want to go sit up at the sewing machine, but I'll try and get it done. Did the binding. Wasn't very hard. And uh, I just stitched it on my machine and then I hand stitched it on the inside. So now I need to work on the skirt and I will go do that really quick. Maybe. We'll see. All done. Sewing the bodice to the skirt. Yay! So it had marks on the pattern for how you're supposed to pleat the back, but I just didn't do that. I just used my usual method, pleated it to fit. Um, and I did a French seam along the, uh, I was about to call it the waistline, but it's not really. It's the underbust line. So that fits pretty well. I tried it on. Um, everything's going pretty well. I don't remember if I vlogged about the buttons. I put in the buttons and the buttonholes. And now I'm going to stop for today because my uterus really hurts, <laughs> but there's still the hem and the pin tucks to do, so I'll probably get those done tomorrow. Okay, just did the hem by hand while I was laying in bed because I'm still feeling pretty terrible, but I just whip stitched it. I don't know if you can see because my camera's not focusing very well. Um, but yeah, I did the entire hem by hand. Um, I folded it over a half an inch and then a full inch and then... 
ironed it and then whipped it down. You're supposed to do something weird like five eighths of an inch and seven eighths of an inch, but I figured a half and a full inch would be easier. So now literally all that's left is the pin tucks and I'm gonna go do that right now. They had all the pin tucks, there are five in all, and then the hem at the bottom is the same size, so it looks pretty uniform. Um, they mark on the pattern where you're supposed to put pin tucks, but I always do them by eye because I end up being lazy and it's usually towards the end when you have to do them. So they're a little bit wiggly, but I think from a distance they look pretty good. Um, so yeah, next up is a worn shot of me wearing this, and then I'm done with the petticoat. Thanks for watching. Okay, here it is on. Um, you can see there's a smudge on my mirror. Ignore that. Um, you can see it's not very flattering in the bust. Like, it doesn't cut my bust very well at all. Like, this is the base of my bust and it's sticking out way out here. I think it's because I chose the bigger size to correspond to my waist and I should have just stuck with the size corresponding to my bust because the bust is more important in the Regency. Um, I'm hoping it'll look okay with my dress because as it is it kind of makes me look fatter than I already am uh, but oh well um yeah so that's the end of this video thanks for watching again and I hope to see you in the next one sorry I'm not wearing my stays because I took them off I thought I was just gonna throw it away for the night but I decided to try taking in the darts at the bottom of the bust so um it doesn't look as nice on the outside because there's like this awkward pleat thing here at the bottom on both sides now but it definitely fits my bust a lot better now I don't know if you guys can see but it actually goes around the curve of my bust instead of just being a potato sack so I'm a lot happier with it now um but like I said it doesn't look as nice <laughs> oh well maybe people think I did it on purpose all right bye